Hey guys, and welcome to week seven of the live P lesson with myself, Mr. Fee. This is the final week of us doing it because next week we're going back to schools. And for the ones that have Tesla's coaches in, you guys will be hopefully going back to more like normal P lessons, which will be nice. And we won't just be doing it on the computer. You'll be able to have a nice big space and we'll be able to be in our schools and, and back kind of back to normal, back to reality, which is going to be real nice. Um, remember, the comment section is to be only used for questions and answers, okay, or to write your scores in from the tasks that I set you, okay? I mean, you can only use them during the break. So only use the comment section during the breaks because we don't want to be doing it during the activity, okay? So make sure you're only doing that during the breaks. The equipment that you're going to need today is going to be similar to normal. So things like if you're at home, you can use a rolled up pair of socks, um, a, a, a pillow, okay, um, a teddy, pen and paper to write your scores in, and maybe something like a soft toy. If you're at school, you're going to have something different, you're going to have different bits of equipment, so you can use a whiteboard and pen, again, to write down your scores, a partner to challenge against, okay, a rubber, table, a chair, a book, okay, something like that. So you guys, can, you've got all the equipment that you're going to need for today's lesson. Remember, we have got a special guest coming in, and because it's the final week, I've got a very big special guest coming in who's very excited, and you will all know already, so make sure you stay tuned in to see who our special guest is. But before that, we need to do our hip session, we need to do a few activities, and then they're going to come in towards the end and make it nice and exciting and make it real, real fun towards the end of our live lesson. So today's hit session is going to be different because our topic today, we're going to carry on with our Olympic topic. So again, our topic is all about the Olympics and Olympic events. But we're not just doing um, the normal Olympics, so the Summer Olympics. We're going to be looking at the, the Winter Olympics and the Paralympics. I'm going to explain more later on in the video. Okay, in the live lesson, I'll explain more. So stay tuned in to understand what kind of maybe Winter Olympics is and what Paralympics is. OK, so the hit session is going to be a little bit different today because we're going to look at summer and winter Olympic events. Now, we're going to adapt them and we're going to adapt them into a hit session. For example, our first one is going to be bobsleigh. Now, some of you may have heard this. This is a winter Olympic event. OK, so Tokyo Olympics are, are, being, are, Tokyo, sorry, are hosting the Olympics this year in July in their country. So that's what we're going to be doing um, yeah. Um, okay. So that's what we're going to be doing. Um, so you guys, when you can watch that, you can be like, wow, I, I, I know what bobsleigh is. Okay. I know what all these different events are, which is going to be great. So for bobsleigh, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing a hit session and we're going to go through different events. The first event is bobsleigh, like I said. So what we're going to do, we're going to sprint for 10 seconds on the spot. And in bobsleigh, you have to jump into a like moving cart so you've got to sprint with the cart jump into it and then you're going to you go weave in and out so what we're going to do we're going to sprint for 10 seconds we're going to jump onto the floor sit onto the floor on our bottoms and then we're going to lean side to side okay but only using our core muscles so it's going to look like this we're going to sprint for 10 seconds onto the floor onto our bottoms and then we're just going to roll from side to side using our core muscles and try not to push up with our hands because that will make it easy. Okay, so that's the first one. The second one is cross-country skiing. Now, again, this is in the Winter Olympics. And what we're going to do, we're going to kind of, we're going to practice and we're going to try and have a go at doing that technique of the, the skiing technique. So we're going to go from one arm, the opposite arm and the opposite leg, and we're going to swap over. And we're going to work nice and hard, okay, and make sure your, your opposite leg and your opposite arm, okay, are in time. So that's that one. And we're gonna then move on to snowboarding. Now, some of you may have heard of snowboarding. Some of you may have seen it before. Some of you may have even done it. Okay, I've never done it myself, but I know snowboarding, you have to be side on. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna be side on. Okay, we're gonna balance on one leg. Now, snowboarding, you don't always balance on one leg, but what, imagine, you've got to imagine that you may be falling, gonna fall over, and you have to keep your balance. Okay, so you're going to try and balance on one leg, that might be your front leg, okay, or it might be your back leg, depending on 
what you want to do. We're then going to go down, we're going to make sure we can bend our knees, get nice and low. Okay, use our arms for balance because obviously when we're turning, we want to do that. And we're going to stay nice and low and we're going to try and squat down. That can be on two legs, that can be on one leg, depending on obviously how, how much you want to challenge yourselves. The next one is going to be cycling. Now, this one is in the Summer Olympics. This one's indoors. Okay, and obviously so most of you will know that cycling, you're on a bike and you have to go around the track as fast as you can. So what we're going to do, we're going to do the bike on the floor for 30 seconds. Now, we don't obviously have a bike, so we're going to just practice our bike technique, so cycling technique, and then at the end, we're going to sprint for 10 seconds on our bike, so as quick as you can. The next one is called the skeleton. Now, again, this one is a Winter Olympics event. So this one you may not have heard of. Skeleton, you are, are on your own. So you, it's a single event that you run, you jump in your car, you're on your belly, and you have to weave in and out, okay, through things. So that's what we're going to do for that one. You're going to go down, you're going to be on your belly, and you're going to roll over, only again using your core muscles and not with your arms and your legs, because that make it quite easy. And the last one is speed skating. Now this one's similar to a running event, but instead of running, obviously in running, you're on ice and you have ice skates on. So again, it's a winter Olympic event and you're gonna, you've got to go as fast as you can. So it's like a sprint around a track on ice, on ice skates. So it can be very dangerous and people can go fly and really hurt themselves. But we're gonna do it on our spot because we obviously don't have the, the an ice rink and ice skates. Okay, so we're gonna do it on the spot. And what we're gonna do, we're just gonna go one, two, one side, onto one leg and we're going to go as fast as we can, pumping the arms, okay, just like that. Okay, so we're going to go through that, we're going to go for a hit session, we're going to do it only once, okay, because I imagine you'll be tired out after it. If you're not sure, just copy me and we'll have some fun and we're just going to obviously, where it's the last week, we want to make it different and it's very, very exciting. So we're going to work for 30 seconds and then we're going to have our 20 second break as normal and then we're going to move on to the next one. Okay, it's going to be simple as that. Are we ready? So we're going to start in five seconds. The first one, if you remember, is bobsleigh. We have to sprint for 10 seconds, jump onto the floor on our bottom, and then roll from side to side. Ready? Three, two, one, sprint. 10 seconds, sprint as fast as you can. Because we've got to get up, get nice and quick. Two seconds, onto the floor, onto your bottom, and then roll from side. Oh, sorry, we've sat up. We're going to lean from side to side. Trying not to use our arms to push up. Try and keep your heels on the floor. Five seconds. Good, and jump up. So that one's a little bit like a sit up, but instead of sitting up, we're rolling over and still using our, still using our core muscles. The next one is our cross country skiing. So we're going to go from opposite arm and opposite leg, and we go as fast as we can for 30 seconds. If you like, Okay, and you, when you've watched skiing before, sometimes they have a jump. So you can jump and have add in a squat if you're feeling confident and to challenge yourself. Ready? Off you go. Nice and quick. Okay, I'm going to add in a jump. And then back to, back to our, our technique. Oh, my cross country skiing. Okay, and jump. And back to it. Oh, we're going upset. Oh, no, I've missed. Oh. There we go. We've got it. 10 seconds. Last jump. As high as you can. And back down. Five seconds. Five as you can. Good. Well done. Shake it off. Come on. Get, get tired already. So the next one is snowboarding. So remember, we're side on. Okay, knees bent. Arms out in front of us. Okay, we're going down. Think about if you're going down a hill on snow. It's going to be nice and fun. You're going to be going real fast. We're going to start that five seconds. Ready? Side on. Onto one leg. And off you go. Try and balance. Okay, imagine. Perfect. Arms out in front of you. And then can you jump to your other leg? Oh, nearly went. Okay, if you're confident, you can swap. So you jump and try and stay on one leg. Remember to do the activity and leave the comment section. Good. Well done. All the way down. Five seconds. Onto one leg. Try and swap over. Good, yeah, well done. And rest. Oh, we will have time for a drink, guys, don't worry. Next one is our cycling. So we're going to go onto the floor. I believe we've done this one before if you've joined. So we're going to cycle, okay, for 30 seconds. 
And then for the last 10 seconds, as fast as we can. So a good pace, and then as fast as we can. That's a sprint for the last 10 seconds. Ready? Three seconds. Off you go. Cycling. A good pace. And in the last 10 seconds, we're going to sprint. And we're going to go as fast as we can. Keep going, guys. Well done. Ready? Five seconds. Four. Make sure you're sprinting. Ready? Go as fast as you can. How fast can you go? How fast can you pump those legs? Five seconds. And jump up. Good, well done. That was very, very tiring. Next one. Two more to go. Is our skeleton. So we're going to sprint again for 10 seconds. Onto our bellies, arms and legs out. And then we're going to roll over and then roll over back the other way. And we'll see if we can do that. It sounds easy, but it's actually going to be a little bit difficult without using your arms and your legs. Ready? 10 seconds sprint from now. Off you go. Keep pumping those arms. And onto our bellies. Arms out and roll. Try not to use your arms or your legs to push. <laughs> 10 seconds, keep going. Roll over. <sighs> and jump up. Oh, well done to the ones who are doing that. Have to go. And then we've got our last one. Here's our speed skating. So we're going to go one, two, to the side, hold it. And go as fast as we can. Pump those arms. Okay, you can even get the legs behind you if you like. Ready? Off you go. How fast can you go? How fast? How fast can you go? How quick can you get your feet moving? Fifteen seconds. Keep going. Five seconds. And. Start bar done. Okay, this is the time oh, to grab your drink, go and get the equipment that you need, ready for our some, Olymp some more Olympic events. Okay, that we did we did some last week. We're gonna move on and we're gonna do some more. Okay, so we're gonna give you one minute to grab a drink and then come back. If you forgot what equipment you need, then that's okay. Just remember to pass weeks that we've done and try to pick similar equipment that you can use. Okay, it doesn't have to be big. It can be small pieces of equipment that you may want to think, oh, I could use that. Okay, with me, obviously I have balls and rackets, but you guys might, probably aren't gonna have that, so you guys will have to think about other stuff that you can use. Pillows, roll a pair of socks, soft toy, rubber, Okay, things like that, table, chair, bed. Okay. Well, oh, actually, we'll put them through. So, our first Olympic event that we're going to do now is we're going to be doing volleyball. So, I'm going to teach you the volleyball technique, and then you're going to have a go at trying to keep up an object with the volleyball technique. So, we're going to have our arms out in front of us like this. We're going to place one palm. Okay, on top of the other, we're going to cross our, cross our thumbs, we're going to have our forearms out in front of us, and we're going to use that technique of just striking up, and this, this one's called a dig. So we're going to see how many times we can use the dig to keep up a object. I'm going to have a go, you can challenge me, or you can challenge a friend at school if you're in the same bubble, or you can challenge me if you're at home on your own and you have no one to, to challenge. Okay, so I'm going to use... A ball, you guys can use obviously the, anything that you've got equipment wise, a roll up pair of socks, a soft toy. If you're at school, you can use maybe a piece of fruit as long as it's it's not gonna make a mess after. Okay, so I'm gonna have a go, see if you can beat me. And then write, if you can write in the comments your scores and I'll give you, you can give a couple of shout outs. Ready? So first go was three. We're gonna have, I'm going to have three goes and then you guys can see if you can beat my score. OK, 
Okay, that one was 10, that was a really good one. I did use my hands though, so if you were. Ready, last one. Four. Okay, so my high score was 10. How many did you guys get? Write in the comments down below, or you can just tell your friend, challenge your friend if you like. You don't have to write down below, which is fine. One minute, and then we're gonna move on to our next Olympic event. But remember, we have got a special guest coming in very soon, who's very excited, okay, and they're ready to come in and challenge me to a couple of Olympic events. So we'll see how that goes. But 30 seconds, finish off your go. How many did you get? I got 10. Did you beat my score? Remember to only use the comment section for questions. Sophia, well done, you got three. Uh, Maya, I got seven, three, and 11. So well done, Maya. Very, very good, very impressed. Uh, Matchy got 10. Hello. Uh, Matchy got 10. Well done, you. I'm, I'm intrigued, what equipment did you guys use? I'd like to know, pop, pop it in the comments below. What equipment did you use? Obviously, I used a, I used a softball. What did you guys use? Because I'm sure you didn't had it, maybe a soft tour or something. Well done. Some really, really good scores coming in. 8, 12, 13. Very impressive. Okay, we're going to move on to our next one. Our next one is going to be tennis, which is another summer Olympic event. And what you're going to do, you're going to have an object that you can use to, to strike, okay, towards a target. So my target is going to be a hula hoop. You guys can use kind of maybe the, the underneath the chair, underneath the table. If you like, you can use on top of a table, a pillow, or something like that. So I'm going to put my target where you guys can see it. Perfect. And then I'm going to get a piece of equipment, a small piece of equipment, and a large, which I can strike with. You guys can maybe use a book, okay, which might work if you're at home. Maybe using, uh, maybe you guys have a book or something large. Okay, so what you're going to do, you're going to place your object on the floor. You're going to have five goes at this. So you're going to see how many times you can strike an object into the target successfully. So my task is to strike this tennis ball, hitting it along the floor, uh, along the floor, sorry, into my target. How many times can I do that out of five? You guys set that up in wherever you are and have a go at trying to, to beat me or challenge me or challenge a friend at school, okay? Oh, mess up zero out of one. That's okay. Obviously, it doesn't matter if you miss. It's okay as long as you have another go and you, you challenge again. Okay, that time stayed in. So, one out of two. Make sure it's not moving. Oh, nearly. One out of three. That was really close. Oh, that one was that one was not good. One out of four. Remember, it's okay if you it's okay if you miss as long as you're having a go and you're joining in and you're enjoying it. That's the main main thing. Well that one is good. Okay, so I got two out of five. If you've completed it, how many did you get? Write in the comments below. I can see your scores. So it's out of five, so you can't get more than five. So don't be right at 10 in the comments. Okay, see how many you can do. Remember, challenge challenge a friend who's in your bubble, maybe. Or if you're at home, you can challenge me. That's okay. We've got one more event, and then our special guest will be coming in to join us on our last two. So we've got three more events to do. And then we will be done, and that will be the end. But stay tuned to make sure you see who our special guest is, as they are very, very excited. So we've got four by Maya. Very impressed. Four out of five. Very impressed. Someone got three. So at the moment, you guys are doing really, really well. So well done. Our next um, Olympic event is going to be basketball. So what you're going to need is a small object and a target. And that's all you're going to need. Okay, so I'm going to use my hoop again. This time I'm going to put it back. And I'm going to use the top hoop as my target. I'm going to use a tennis ball. You guys can use a rolled up pair of socks, a soft toy, a rubber, a piece of fruit, as long as it's not going to break and go everywhere and make a mess. And then we're going to move on to our next event. 
So we are going to use the shooting technique in basketball. So what we're going to do, we're going to have it in our strong hand. Okay, we're going to use the other hand as support. Okay, so we're going to use the other hand as support. I'm going to use my left hand. Use the right hand as support. We're then going to make sure you bend your knees, have your elbow into your chest, into your, sorry, into your ribs, and you're going to release and you're going to straighten your arms. So you're going to go from a, a um, bent arm to a straight arm and just release and see if you can use that technique to, to throw or shoot your, tar shoot your object into the target. Again, you're going to have five goes. See how many you get out of five and see if you can get the best score of five out of five if you can. Remember to set your target a good distance away to make sure you challenge yourselves, but you don't want to set it too far away that you are struggling. Okay, so I'm going to use the top green hoop as my target. I'm going to bend my arm using that technique, flick of the wrist, and hopefully it bounces in and comes back to me. I missed. Next. Let's go. So I've got zero out of one, but that's okay. So I'm going to try again. Okay, that one went in. So I've got one out of two. That one went in also. So I've got two out of three now. Oh, I'm on a roll now. Three out of four. And four out of five. So just the first one that I missed. So I've got four out of five there. How many did you guys get if you've completed it? Have a go. Use a target as a pillow, which would be great. Uh, use a soft toy and try to land it or onto the pillow or something like that if you're at home. Again, if you've got a school, you can use a chair or a table and you can use a, maybe a, a soft object, a rubber, something like that. Okay, so you guys, I feel like have, you guys have waited long enough. So our special guest is ready to come in. They are super excited. They're going to come in with so much enthusiasm. You're going to be like, whoa, I am, that's a lot. Okay, so I'd like to welcome our special guest on our last live PE lesson of this lockdown, Mr. Newman. Mr. Newman, here you come. Thank you for coming in. I'm ready. I'm ready, Mr. Fee. Good, good. I'm glad. So we're going to have two more Olympic events. I'm going to challenge you and we're going to see who can come out victorious. But remember, it doesn't matter who wins or loses, as long as you're having fun and enjoying yourselves. So our fourth Olympic event is high jump. Now in the Olympics, they have a massive run up. They have to jump over a very high bar. Now we haven't got crash mat. We haven't got anything to use. Okay, that's going to be safe like that. So we're going to, what we're going to do, we're going to jump from two feet and we're going to see who can jump the highest. But what we're going to do, we're going to place objects in the middle. So we're going to stack up objects and we're going to see who can jump the highest over those objects. Remember to stay safe and don't stack up your objects too high that you know you're not going to be able to jump over. Please make sure that you're staying safe, but obviously challenge yourselves as well. Now, I'm going to challenge Mr. Newman. You guys can challenge a partner at school in your bubble, or you can challenge us as well. How many objects can you stack up and jump over? We're going to have a go. You're going to have a go at home or at school, and we're going to see who can get the most. Ready, Mr. Newman? Yeah. So we're going to start off with a ball and a cone on top if it stays on it. And you're going to see if you go, jump go first. first. I'll let you go first. Special okay. guest goes first. So just, just, just jump, just jump over. Make sure you jump fully over. I try. Try not to take out. Okay, good. Well done. I'll have a go. And then we're going to add an object switch. Okay, success. Okay, what we're going to do, we're going to add in another object. We're going to try and make this higher. We're going to add in a tennis racket on top. Hopefully that stays. Good luck. Look at this. Oh, oh there it is. It's good. Listen, you're going to have a go again. So at the moment, we've got three objects. Let's see if we can do it. Very impressed. I'll tell you what. Yeah, very good. Listen, what else can we add to our objects? Let's get a balance. You have a look in our box. See if you can, can balance anything you know what, on top. Tape. What do you think? Okay, I like it. We're going to change it. We'll go back to two. But two objects. Two objects. Two objects. two objects that are higher. I believe it's your go. Oh, okay. I believe it's your go. So I will. Thank you very much. I will stand. Let's see if we can do this. 
Very impressed, very impressed. So higher objects, but less objects. How many guys are you guys doing? Make sure you stick in the comments below. At the moment, we've got four. We had four, we've now got two, and we're gonna try and we're gonna try and add some more up. Oh, I'm not sure. I, I, my legs went out. Try again, Mr. We'll try again, because it doesn't matter if you fail, as long as you try again and have a go. Yeah, there we go, go. there we go. We're gonna, oh, what if we add the code? What do you think? Well, that's quite challenging. That is quite challenging, but remember, you've got, got to, to try. Challenge yourself. You've got to try. Ready? Ready. Oh, easy, you awesome. Okay. Yeah, well done, Mr. So we add in the ball, Mr. Newman, as our last one. And if we successfully do this, then we could say that we've completed the challenge. What do you think? I can certainly try. Just remember to stay safe when you're at home and in class. Only use the equipment that you've got. Is that going to balance? I don't think so. Oh, that's a good one. I don't think it's going to balance. <laughs> No, it's not going to balance. What we're going to do, we're going to move on. That's okay. We got four bits of equipment. Did anyone beat four bits of equipment that were around knee height? So to you guys, if it was knee height or above, then well done. And you probably would have jumped higher than us. So well done. I wonder who jumped up higher, me and you. Ooh. What do they think? Well, I think it was me. But, you know, it's, obviously that's up to you. Okay. Um, write down in the comments below, who do you think jumped higher? Who had the better technique? Anyway, our last activity or our last Olympic event is an Olympic event that's not in the, the Summer Olympics. This event is in the Paralympics. So for the ones at home or at school that you guys are thinking, what's the Paralympics? Um, Paralympics is a series of international multi-sport events that individuals, individual athletes with a range of disabilities take part in. Okay, so a range of disabilities could be things like maybe in a wheelchair, okay, visually impaired, something like that. Okay, so we're going to play, Mr. Newman, we're going to have our last game, it's going to be Boccia. Now this, one of my favourites, is a great game, and it's, I'll take this out of the picture. It's a similar game to something like bowls. We're going to have an object that we have to try and we're going to put down, and then we're, my, oh, my job is to get closer to the object than you. Now we're going to use bean bags. Because we have plenty here. You guys at home aren't going to have loads and loads of equipment. So you maybe can challenge someone. Or if you're on your own, you can just challenge yourself and maybe use the left arm and use the right arm and see which arm you can get closer with. Okay, so our equipment that we're going to use to try and get close to, we're going to use a shuttlecock. Okay, so we're going to pop that down, Mr. Newman, and there. And we're going to have we're going to have two objects each. Now I'm going to have two colour beam bags, you're going to have two colour beam bags. We're going to see who gets closest. You guys at home or at school can get your objects now or your equipment now that you're going to use and then have a go. Challenge someone and have a go. You can use best, you could do best of three games. You can maybe have one game if it's going to take a little bit longer. That's completely okay. So, Mr. Newman, you're going to have the orange bean bags and I am going to have the winning bean bags, which are going to be blue. Oh, I thought you were part of the red team. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we're going to go blue. So we're going to, you can obviously stand wherever you like, away from your, away from the middle object that you're going to try and turn close to. Now you guys can, can move any distance away, but make sure you're being safe and make it challenging, but also not challenging enough that you're never going to be able to get anywhere near. Okay, so Mr. Newman, we're going to stand in the red square each. Yep. Yep. Okay. On this side, on the best side, obviously, challenger goes first. Yep. Okay. And you're going to try and get closest. So, whoever gets closest at the two bean bags will win. We'll say best of three. It's not a bad effort. It's not a bad effort. So, we play from there now. Play from there stage. now. Yes. Yeah, so at the moment, I'm closest. <laughs> Oh, that's been the chance. The biggest the chance. Oh, yes. well done, Mr. Okay, one nil. We're going to go again. This time, I will let you. Are you happy with? Are you happy with that? Yeah. Perfect. Let's have another go. So one nil, Mr. V. Best of three. If I win this game, Mr. V takes the victory. 
Who do you think guys going to win in the comments down below? Have a go. See who you think. See who thinks going to win. Come on, Mr. Payne. Oh, my turn to go first this time. Ooh. Cool. Yeah. Oh, he's taking it 1-1. Here we go. We're going to sudden death. Two lead bags. Two throws. Mr. Newman goes first. I think we should rock, paper, scissors. Mr. Fee, three goes first. That is fair, that is fair. Oh, you can go first, Mr. Fee. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Remember to think about the depth of your throws at home. Like that one. Really good one for Mr. Fee. It's close. Nice, gentle one. Oh. I'm going to try and play safe here. I'm going to, <laughs> I'm going to have to... Oh my god, it's beautiful. Oh! Yes! Well done, Mr. Fee. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for joining us, Newman. Again, the, unfortunately, that is the end. It's been absolutely amazing doing this for you guys every week, and I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. I've tried to make it different each week so you guys, have been, so you guys don't find it boring. I'm hoping you guys have enjoyed it. And thank you to the ones that are tuning in every week and watching. And, and just getting active and just doing something a bit different, which is which is great. Um, Mr. Newman, thank you for joining me on the last week. No problem. Enjoyed it. Um, it's been an absolute pleasure. Unlucky. Maybe <laughs> work on your boxing skills sometime when you get some time. Um, remember, there's not always been a lift. There's not always a lift to success. Sometimes you have to take the steps. I've been Mr. Fee. You guys have been a great audience. Again, stay safe and for some of you, you will see myself and other Teslins coaches in your schools teaching PE, hoping to be back to normal very, very soon. Again, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys soon. Oh, that's some